Welcome back to On The Rise with the latest Kanamanti news and Marcus Gattino, the former Vancouver Whitecaps fullback, is edging closer to a move to joining Polish first division side in Corona Kielce. This would be a massive move for Marcus Gattino, who is only 25 years of age and had a very good season the past year with Vancouver Whitecaps in the MLS and he is currently without a club right now. Marcus Gattino right now is being reported to Corona Kielce through reports and rumors coming from abroad, most Polish outlets, but it has also been reported very recently from Canucks abroad around this transfer. Guys, this report is mostly coming from this Polish outlet. I'm going to read to you what they have said. Marcus Gudinho close to reaching a move at the hands of Corona. The 25-year-old right back is separated by medical tests before signing with those from Kielce. He is free after ending his contract with Vancouver Whitecaps, with whom he played 23 games in the MLS in 2022. For me, this is brilliant to see Corona Kielce after Marcus Cadinho. Of course, they have acquired a center back from Canada very recently in Dominic Zator from Fakan PL. Adding another Canadian would be very wise and a great move for Corona. And Marcus Cadinho, for me, is a very exciting move. When he used to play for Canada, I very much like what he brought to the national team, and I like his assets and his attributes, what he brings to any side, and especially the national side. At the age of 25, I think he still has a great chance of making the national side. You look at Alistair Johnson right now, he's 24. You look at Legend Richie Larea, he's aging a bit more. He still is a tremendous player, but he's 28. Marcus Godinho is right in the mix of those two. I think if Marcus Godinho gets a great chance to start getting some starting consistent top minutes with this side in Corona Kielce, I could see him making a bigger move after this. This is a huge tra- transfer and great chance for Marcus Cadinho to flourish and move on his footballing career. What does Marcus Cadinho truly bring to Corona Kielce though is the real question that I'm going to answer here for you guys. Marcus Cadinho is brilliant at bringing the ball forward, carrying it up the pitch, dribbling, making those advanced runs and moving the ball up the pitch. Where he can play is very exciting for any footballing team and and a reason, a huge reason why I think he still has a chance with the Canada team. At the age of 25, he is still pretty young, decently young for a fullback or any footballer. Really, most footballers play until they're early to late 30, early to mid 30s, and he's only 25. Like I said, Richie Larea is three years older than him. Marcus Godinho is a very versatile footballer. Last year with Vancouver Whitecaps, having a 6.8 match rating at right back slash right wing back and a 6.6 match rating at left back slash left wing back. That shows his quality and how good he truly was last season and his versatility. Like I said, he's amazing at dribbling and advancing the ball up the pitch into the final third and getting the ball out of that defensive third as well. If you want to dive deeper into his stats, looking at FB ref, progressive passes per the 90s at 4.59, which is extremely good, which puts him in the 96th percentile among all football, all fullbacks in world football, as well as dribbles completed, which puts him at 1.68 per the 90, 95th percentile in world football, as well as pass completion, 79.8%. You might think that's that's not bad. That's very good. 79th percentile within fullback in world football. That's a brilliant stat. That's a a progressive ball moving fullback who's looking to move the ball forward instead of just side to side backwards. That's a very good stat for Marcus Godinho which truly shows how good he truly is. Like I said guys, he's just going to go through those medical tests and once those are confirmed, he probably will be confirmed as a done deal signing. Once that happens, you guys know I'm definitely bringing that video out on done deal. It is a such an exciting move, especially for myself. I really like how this is happening. Dominic Zator might have might have maybe influenced this a bit, maybe wanting another Canadian to come to the squad. This is a brilliant move. He is valued at four hundred thousand on the likes of transfer market, four hundred thousand euros. And if you look at Corona Kielce's roster right now, they only have one right back on the squad, which currently is Danek, a Polish right back who sits at twenty eight years a age eight twenty eight years of age my bad guys, and 250,000 value. Marcus Godinho walks into this squad and is immediately more than likely their starting right back. And personally, and I'm sure a lot of Canadians would love, Don makes a tour lined up at right center back and you have a little, a little bit of Marcus Godinho at right back. That would be such an exciting sight for all Canadians. And I think Marcus Godinho is probably going to walk into the squad and more than likely is a starter. If you look at what he did with Vancouver Whitecaps last year, a consistent 6.5, 6.6 match rating. And he was very good at that as well. Diving a bit more into his stats, started 
played in 23 matches last year, going 12 starts for 1,000 minutes. No goal contributions, unfortunately, for Marcus Godinho. But I think this season at Corona Kielce will be so exciting for him. And I think this is an amazing transfer. Guys, we're going to stay on top of this. We're going to more than likely have two to three more videos out. We got the Kwasi Paku, who is currently at like the BK Hawken, the Swedish champions on trial. I'm going to get a video out around that, as well as the Noble Akello trial as well at Inter Miami. And Theo Corbinu, guys, I'm going to try and have that video tomorrow. Four videos in a day would be crazy. We're going to try and push for three. So much exciting Canadian content out, out today. So much exciting Canadian news going on and i am absolutely loving this and loving the grind for you guys it, it's so exciting to see the positivity on the channel and it really means a lot guys if you could drop down below let me know what you guys think of marcus Godinho heading to corona kielce be very much appreciative if you could drop a comment hit that like button drop a sub and i'll see you guys for the next one peace